so as a good example, Andy's going to now demonstrate kind of what it looks like to have a control ventilation versus an SIMV having a patient-initiated ventilation. Absolutely. So right now we are on SIMV ventilation and this piece of plastic and rubber obviously doesn't have any respiratory drive. Now I'm going to start breathing for the patient and by my hand squeezing on this lets the ventilator know that this piece of rubber and plastic is trying to breathe. Okay. So as I squeeze down on this, it will sense that and allow my test lung to take as big of a breath as it wants. So if I press down right now, it will sense that. And with the pressure that is inside of here, assist me synchronize with my breath as big as a breath as I would like to take. And it's all based upon how much pressure support I have input inside here, okay? Imagine rolling down your windows in your car and driving at 30 miles an hour or 60 miles an hour. That's just more pressure pressing against your face. So if I have my pressure support set to a low number, that's just driving at 10, 20 miles an hour. If I set my pressure support to a really high number, that's driving at 60 miles an hour. So I'm really going to force some air inside and get a big volume, big breath out of that. And the good thing is, is if they decide to take a breath during one of these time breaths, like we'll demonstrate, you'll notice that it takes that breath. So if they only took 250 and I said that you had to have at least 12 to 500, if it's one of those controlled breaths and they only take 250, but it's one of those time mechanical breaths, I said you have to have 500, then it's going to deliver that additional volume to deliver and meet that 500 of demand that we've told the ventilator to deliver. So let's see if we can time it. So we initiate the breath and you notice the ventilator, we only took say, you know, for example, 200 or so. And the vent recognized that and said, hey, on this breath, I got to get you to 500. So it, it fills in that volume and delivers that volume on top of whatever the patient has taken. Versus if they breathe in between a time breath, well, now they're taking whatever they want. So once again, that's just a quick breakdown, guys, of SIMV.